What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrubby here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day I know I am and today I've got a story time for y'all that I know you guys are gonna love Basically, I've got an angry mom currently trying to uh, press legal charges because I made a video about something her kid did a while ago Yeah, you know, that's just the way the ball bounces uh, Apparently dude, it's my fault that this kid was dumb enough to eat a goldfish somehow But hey, it's the snack that smiles back. The only difference is this one wasn't a cracker. It was a goddamn amphibian Regardless, it should be a pretty fun video, so uh, yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy, and press the like button, or no joke, no scam, you're gonna get sued by a soccer mom, and without further ado, let's get into it. On Discord to celebrate. <clears throat> it's, it's so good, it's not good. Nice rack and her ass Brazilian, just turned 21, but my bank's a million, swear I'm a little drunk, but it's a hell of a family. Alright, so I'm gonna be honest with y'all, this entire situation takes place because of a video I made like two years ago now about a kid eating the class pet. It's one of my most popular videos of all time, and it's the story about how, you know, I was in class and this kid tried to look cool by eating the class pet that was a, a goldfish. And in that story, I changed everybody's names, you know, moved events around a little bit, just so that way you couldn't actually tell who it was about, like, unless you were there, you know what I mean? I didn't want this guy getting crap as an adult for like the stupid thing he did when he was 12 That's never what I want with my videos. I just like telling stories because it's fun to me But regardless, I guess changing the names and all that stuff wasn't enough And I guess the person it was actually about uh, ended up seeing it and was not too happy with it, dude And listen, I get being upset that over a million people have heard the story of you eating a goldfish I'm sure that's not your proudest moment, bro You're probably sitting there like damn. I wish I could erase that forever, but uh, like I said, bro, I change the name and at the end of the day it is based on a real story this dude did eat the class pet regardless at one point I'm not gonna say his name or anything you know I'm not I'm not gonna say anything else but I will say that it was based on a true story 100% the only thing that was really changed was like names just enough to keep it plausible deniability you know what I mean anyways I know the guy who the video was originally about and based on ended up seeing the video because I woke up to a very strongly worded email from the dude who ended up eating Eating the class pet for real and uh, he basically sends me this email demanding that I take the video down you know all that stuff about how I never gave you permission to tell this story and who do you think you are da 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 and uh, on top of taking it down he demanded that I give him all of the ad revenue it had ever made because he never gave me permission to make money off of the story and yada 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 and he was just a very upset fellow and uh, surprisingly this is not <laughs> The first time I've had somebody up in my email threatening to sue me because they don't like a video I've made on them and uh, you know obviously I told him no I'm not gonna take down one of my most popular videos that didn't do anything wrong didn't reveal any private information You can't even confirm that it's 100% about you and I'm especially not giving you the money from one of my most popular videos All right, I've already spent it bro. These Pokemon cards that cost 800 grand ain't gonna buy themselves I didn't buy Pokemon cards with it, but the video is like two years old now, bro. That that money I earned two years ago definitely ain't just chilling. So whatever. I'm like, I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't break the rules. I changed the name and you still did it. So no, I'm not going to take down the video because I didn't do anything wrong. It's really not that complicated, bro. So I send him back an email basically lining out, no, uh, the story isn't about you, blah, 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 blah. Basically, the response I just listed out is what I email back to him. And for two days, he doesn't reply at all. I get nothing in my email. And honestly, I had forgotten about the fact that like I had even gotten an email from this dude. Usually when people are mad at me, they respond like instantly or not at all. So the fact that he hadn't replied for two days to me was like, eh, whatever, I guess it's over, nothing's gonna happen and like I said I've had my aunt threaten to sue me and take down my channel before there really isn't much they can do so go for it however one day I wake up to an email from a different email address bro the only difference is this email address is uh, this dude's mother yeah that's right this grown man who is now 22 years old by the way he's a little bit older than me had emailed me asking me to take down this video and give him all the advertiser money and when I said no he decided that he would just get his mom to email me instead because that's definitely gonna fix this thing, bro. If I wasn't gonna give him the money, his mommy 100% is gonna get it. I'm not too sure what a 40-year-old woman's strategy was, but her email is a lot less friendly than his, and his was already pretty pissed off. It basically starts saying how, like, 
I'm a horrible person and my parents would be ashamed of me and she's going to ruin my reputation unless I take down the video. I I'm not too sure what a random 40 year old lady could actually do. Like, ah, he made a video about my son eating a class pet and changed the name. Isn't that awful? Like, uh, I don't know how that's really going to harm my reputation, but whatever. And even then, bro, let's say you get every 40 year old woman in this entire town to hate me. I, I can sleep at night, dude. I promise you, I can still go to Target and push my cart around getting a dirty look from you and your friends and sleep fine at night. So, whatever. It's kind of a weird threat to get me to delete the video. I don't go outside anyways. I'm not afraid of middle-aged women that don't live with me, you know? And I don't live with middle-aged women, so I'm afraid of none of them. So, I'm reading this email, and it's basically like, you have a week to take down the video and give my son the advertiser revenue. Otherwise, I will start to tell people the truth about this situation, which, you know, I, I'm not really too sure what she's talking about. The truth is I made a story based upon something her son did that was absolutely moronic and was nice enough to not put him on blast, bro. I could have just dropped the full name in there. I could have. I could have dropped the school name. I could have dropped our name. I could have dropped the teacher's name. I could have done it all. Hell, bro, I probably got him caught in, in Android phone footage from 2012 somewhere. So I'm just laughing at this response for the email, you know, trying to think of something to say. And I really can't come up with anything too good, so eventually I just decide to copy and paste the original response that I had sent to the kid basically being like no and I sent it back to her I figured they would instantly compare the responses see that I had just copy and pasted it and she would feel annoyed that I like didn't put any effort into responding I'm not gonna lie I was being toxic I was just trying to bug him at this point so I just went back to my day bro I was playing Valorant and uh, I, I was just kind of vibing in the office making videos I kind of forgot about it and uh, at one point my roommate came into the office and we were just kind of talking and I started filling him in on this situation because I was like yo bro I'm gonna make a story time about this isn't this crazy and he obviously is cracking up about it too because old ladies getting mad at YouTube videos is just pretty hilarious so he's like hey man can I see the email so I go and I open Gmail and sure enough there's a reply like one minute after I had sent my copy and paste the reply almost is instant you know and it just doubles down saying that I had to take it down or I'm gonna be hearing from her lawyer yeah that's right ruining my reputation wasn't enough bro now she says that I I've got to take it down or she will be suing me. Now, obviously, getting sued would really suck no matter what. I'm not trying to get sued, but I hadn't even done anything wrong. So I'm kind of like, eh, I I'm going to call her bluff, bro. So she sent me this email saying that if I don't delete it, she's going to sue me and blah, 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 blah. And I emailed her back and I just said, I'm very excited to be hearing from your lawyer. There was no way any lawyer worth their shit would have taken a case this stupid. And uh, even then, dude, I just had a feeling she was bluffing. And soon after that, maybe about five minutes later, I get a uh, email from this air quotes I'm using right now lawyer right and something instantly looks off when like the email address that this lawyer is using is like definitely a lawyer at gmail.com you know that wasn't the exact email address but it was something along the lines of this definitely is somebody pretending to have a lawyer's email not an actual lawyer and the way that they were typing was like identical to the mom right so I instantly realized that she had just gone made a fake law firm account to try to scare me into thinking she was actually gonna sue me so I start asking this lawyer air quotes kind of like what laws I'd broken what their claims are for the suit you know like what's the situation trying to figure out what's going on right and it's obvious that whoever is pretending to be this lawyer I'm pretty sure it was the guy's mom like doesn't have any clue what they're talking about not that I'm a legal expert by any means whatsoever I'm not saying that but like she started saying that you know they were gonna sue me for being mean because apparently being mean to her son is is illegal you know like ah oh, you got me and being mean is is rude don't get it twisted I'm not saying that you should be mean to people but it's not illegal you can't can't sue somebody and get their video taken down because it was mean. You can't get money out of somebody because they were mean. All right, guys, I'm going to interrupt the video for just one second. On screen now is actually a PlayStation gift card. I give away a gift card in every single video here on this channel as a way to just say thank you to everyone subscribed with notifications on. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications so that you never miss another video. It's very important and it's got a lot of swag. If you are somebody subscribed with notifications on already, then thank you so much. You guys really do help the channel go around and, uh, 
uh, yeah, on that note, I will shut up and let you guys get back to the story time. Enjoy. So I just kind of start messing with this lawyer, you know, who's who's really going to teach me a lesson about being mean. And I just start being mean to the lawyer, bro. I start saying that, you know, he probably looks like he hit his face on a frying pan, you know, like j just saying funny stuff. And the lawyer starts talking about how all of this is going to be used in evidence for court. And imagine that, bro. We're up in the courtroom. They're like, what did he do? Officer, judge, you don't understand. He insulted me. Read this. And they're like, you have the body build of a Keebler elf with the IQ of dog with the blog star Stan. Um, yeah, this is, this is bad, but we, we can't arrest him for it. You know what I mean? And eventually, I start asking, you know, where's the law office at? What what office are they based out of? Do they have a location? And this guy starts telling me that he's a lawyer, but he doesn't have an office. It doesn't exist. So I start pressing him. I'm like, no, bro, you got to have an office. If you're a good lawyer, you got an office. You got an office. So finally, there's just this address that uh, gets emailed to me. That's about 20 minutes away from my house, right? And I just decided to Google the address just to see what the situation was. And uh, when I look it up, isn't this interesting? That address that apparently is this dude's law office is uh, an empty lot. Yeah, that's right. It's in the middle of a bunch of developments in between two shopping centers. But it's an empty lot a little bit away from my house. So me and my roommate, uh, Zach, just decided we're like, all right, well, let's go take a picture with this empty lot and location tag it and then email it back to them you know so we get in the car and we're on the way there we go to this law office I'm using air quotes and sure enough there's no building there bro it doesn't exist it's just like an empty lot so I pose with like the the uh, in the buildings on either side like the in-between middle saying it's empty we go back home and I email it to the lawyers and I basically say in the email well isn't this interesting I just went to check out your uh, law offices and maybe have a conversation about the lawsuit or what's the situation and uh, it doesn't exist so obviously this isn't a real lawyer I know it's probably just you pretending to be a lawyer for your son and that's great and all but it's a little bit ridiculous and you're not gonna get my video taken down and in fact I'm gonna make a video on this now and uh, you know within 15 minutes I got an email from the mom's email basically saying that like the lawyer she hired had gone AWOL and started emailing me and that was never her intention and you know her and her son had thought about it, and they really just think that he's learned his lesson, and uh, obviously I'm more than welcome to keep the video up. They were a little bit ridiculous to try to take it down. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that interesting, guys? Their lawyer that I called out for not existing and not having an office suddenly had gone AWOL. She had never wanted him to email me, guys. He was just, uh off on his own. What a crazy guy. Immediately, bro, I'm like, ah, oh, she's pissed she got caught, dude. She really thought that, like, I was stupid enough to fall for a fake lawyer to take down one of my most popular videos of all time, dog. Like, come on. Even then, why send me the address, dude? That's what I don't understand. Like, she sent me an address to a place that didn't exist. Did you not think that I was gonna Google it, bro? I'm telling you, old people forget that, like, Fact checking is a thing now. It's really easy for me to just pop something into the internet and find out if it's true or not, especially when it's like an address. So uh, I just emailed them back being like, it's okay, but I think you owe me an apology. Your lawyer really hurt my feelings. I just started hamming it up, bro, telling this lady that that lawyer had me crying. I was scared for my life. And uh, sure enough, I got a, a paragraph, the next email, apologizing, saying that, you know, rewatching the video, it was hilarious. Yeah, that's right. The video you were attempting to fake Sumi for is now hilarious. And uh, that, you know, they're really big fans of the channel. And it was just like, come on, bro. Come on. Come on. If you're going to make up a lawyer at a law firm, the least you could do is just not reply after. Don't start kissing my butt, dude. I don't need this. Anyways, the video is staying up. I got another banger video out of it. And uh, if for some reason you guys are watching this, thanks for the content. I've got a feeling that this video is going to do pretty well because y'all went wild. Moral of the story is, uh, you know, if you ate a goldfish and somebody makes a video of about it and uh, there's no way for them to show that it's you then you really just shouldn't have your mom email them and try to sue them over it dude and what's even more bizarre is as I've said I changed the name I changed everything so we would have gotten into the courtroom or whatever and this guy would have had to admit that he did it like he would have had to say well yes I, I did eat a goldfish at one point at which point the story is based on a true story they could see that I changed enough to make it unidentifiable and I would have been fine he would have paid tens of thousands of dollars to have to get up in front of everybody and and admit that he ate the class pet, bro. That's just the way the ball bounces sometimes. Definitely not worth it. 
he uh, should be glad that his mom's terrible at pretending to be a lawyer for his sake. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button. Uh, if you guys press the like button, three wishes will definitely come true. You'll get fairly odd parents. And while you're at it, go ahead and comment down below. If you don't know what to comment, just comment the word cow down there. It really helps the video do better and it's appreciated. And as I've said, if you're new, subscribe and turn on those notifications. If you like the intro song, I will put a link to that in the description along with a link to the merch. You guys should cop it. It's the coolest merch to ever exist ever. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased, but hey, you should still get it. And if you like content similar to this stuff to listen to while you're gaming or whatnot, I do have a podcast called The Scuffed Cast. You can find a link to that in the description as well, and you guys should definitely go give that a listen. But uh, yeah, on that note, guys, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot, and hopefully I'll see you guys all next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.